Polite Inquiries, Trent Bridge. Danny says, is Stokes the new, 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 both of them? He is more than David Capel was. Uh, he's, he's not that much better than Mark Elam when you really break oh, it down. Oh, he so is. <laughs> he was brilliant because England's two proper bowlers, two of their proper bowlers went missing. Actually, I suppose the spinner did too. So they were really reliant on Broad, who looked a bit weary, understandably, and uh, he seized the day. He was brilliant. I mean, and he showed real skill. It wasn't just strength and character. He swung the ball both ways, mild. He swung it mild. I mean, the, the weird thing about Ben Stokes, everything he does, he does violently. Like, he takes <laughs> catches violently, he hits Actually, the ball violently, so and when he swings it, it doesn't swing normally, it swings violently. I just said hello to him, and he said hello back, violently. Chris Ward says, how has Australia come to be so reliant on their top three to score the bulk of their runs? Well, I, mean, I hope they're not reliant on Steve Smith. Can I just say, bulk is an interesting word. Yeah. I don't know if we're, if we're, what we're terming what they're making bulk of their runs. It is kind of the job of the top three to score quite a lot of runs. Yes. Isn't it? I think the problem is that it's from there on in, it sort of goes just missing. Just because England don't do it. <laughs> Francis says, is it becoming increasingly harder to win away tests? No, it's been increasingly hard to win away tests for a very long time. It, it, it's supposed to be hard to win away tests. Otherwise, where's the fun? Cricket Review says, this is just a home win, isn't it? Like Sri Lanka winning at Gold, Colombo and Candy on pitches made for Murali. Except for the fact that the first two pitches weren't actually made for Murali. In fact, actually they were made for Murali, which was part of the problem. <laughs> But, I mean, you're, you're supposed to win at home. You're supposed to make conditions that help you at home. Australia does it. They just have conditions that always help them at home. And what other countries do is they pick and choose individual things. I that think from where England were, they've done pretty well. They've done really well to, to win. In, and, and it's sensible they've used home advantage. I'm sort of relieved that they've been organised organize enough to find the way to exploit home advantage. It's really sensible. Frankie T says, what us Aussies are going through now... Oh. This is what the Poms felt like in the period nah. from 1989 to 2005. Nah. Let me take this as an Australian just for a second. We just won a World Cup! We <laughs> just won a World Cup! Do you know how many World Cups England have won? You know. Come on, this is not like what Football England went rugby. through. Um, I don't even understand this. Dressage, probably. I don't even know. Um, the thing is, Australia's lows are never as deep as England's. England's oh, got... so you have to claim the better lows now. England's lows could go on for a long, long time, can't they? And Australia, so Australia, when Australia are bad, they're never as bad as England, and they always get out of it quicker. So when you compare it to a 16-year low, it's, or whatever that was, there's no comparison, is there? I don't think so. Shanker says, would you give Smith a chance to lead the team at the Oval if Australia loses one? I would. Yes. Andrew says, uh, where to for Australia from here, having lost the apparently unlosable Ashes? Who said they were unlosable? They did, didn't they? Well, who... Well, there was a bit of hubris in Steve Smith, all this stuff. Yeah, yeah. I think that's what he's referring to. It's amazing how often the game comes and bites you on the arse, isn't it? Isn't it? I mean, so, not literally. Well, he'll learn, won't he? How old is Steve Smith? I don't know. He's an Australian batsman, so he, I assume he's 35. He's had a great opportunity from this series to learn how much more he has to do. He has the uh, hmm? potential to be a great batsman. He was disappointing today. They, they had set up that offside field. He'd already hit one in the air he's past it. He's had one good it. innings on a wicket, which I reckon... A Labrador with quite bad eyesight could have got 100. Yeah, but he's played a few good innings in other places as he well. He has, but yeah. in this Including, series... Yeah. Uh, look, he's clearly capable of being a great player, but he's, he's not... Would you think he's there yet? A great? Yeah. No, I mean, you and I are great, no one else really. Mel Gomes says, I met Glenn McGrath at a Pizza Express in Birmingham last Friday. That's not much of an anecdote. What would the Aussies be eating tonight? Fear and loathing. Each other. Was... <laughs> <laughs> That'll do. We'll see you tomorrow. Early.